It's four in the morning right now. I'm about to go on the road to Baltimore with a band called the Wild Blue Angels. Now how do you go about starting to figure out Hendrix and really playing like him? Is that was that a daunting task or what? Well actually, yeah. Okay, it looks a lifelong yeah. thing compiling all this music in my head. Yeah, but did you sit down with t uh, records and just like keep yeah. them all back back? Oh yeah. You had to. What, what was the a while I had taped them, I had to tape the records because I was sworn up. I walked outside, right. I, right. Put my tape and I just take a section by section. I would let this section first. Oh, okay. Then go on to the next section. Oh, I see. That, and so on and so yep, forth. Yep. And then put it all together. But the thing was, when my four tracks started coming back, I used to take like a lot of the stuff that he recorded backwards and flip the tape oh, over really? so I could hear what his soul sounded like. Was going for. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. In, uh, are you experienced? Yep, yep, yep. All he's using, all he's playing is a lot of blues, blues lines. Right, right. Blues and, and, yeah. And, what, um, what would you say was the hardest thing about Hendrix to figure out? I try so much to place as close as I could to Jimmy, probably, probably developing the sound, the feel, like, you know, just playing with the attitude. Yeah. That, that, you know, if you don't get anything else, it's the attitude that you play with. <laughs> I was uh, pretty excited, you know, it was a nice experience to uh, meet Jimmy's dad. Um, some, month, some years before that, um, I went, I found out about this book, uh, biography, um, it's called Electric Gypsy, and, uh, and I got a, um, an address out of it, and uh, actually it's one of Jimmy's addresses, I guess where he lived with his dad and stuff, and I wrote his, uh, a letter to his father, and uh, mailed it, it never came back, so I figured he got it. Uh, I didn't know that, you know, five or six years later that I would get to meet him, so it's kind of, it's kind of spooky in a way, you know. But it was nice, I, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. As you can see, he signed my guitar. And uh, it was an honor just to play for him up, up at... Uh, oh, you got to play for him too? Yeah, up yeah. in uh, Mama Ken's in Boston. Yeah. It was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I had a really uh, great day. Oh, you get it? That's the bad dub. That's the dub. The bad dub. <laughs>